Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have an unsettled weather day ahead of us today as we do see rain out there at the moment. Expecting that rain to continue as we go through the day today and into the evening hours, as well as some breezy conditions starting to pick up as we go throughout the day as well, seeing things become quite windy as we get into the afternoon and evening. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, we have a low pressure system over the Great Lakes region with a front that is trailing into the eastern part of the country and we're seeing a, another area of low pressure that has developed over the southeast states and that will continue to deepen and lift northeast through our local area as we go throughout the day and into the evening hours so it's going to keep us in an unsettled weather pattern again as we go through today and we will see this start to clear out of here as we go through the overnight hours after midnight but without uh, not without giving us some messy conditions for our Thursday. Let's take a look at the current conditions. As of 8 a.m. this morning, we have a scattered deck around 2,000 feet, broken deck at 4,000 feet, and overcast at 7,000 feet, with some moderate rain out there with visibilities at five statute miles um, and some mist as well. Winds are out of the east at 11 knots, gusting up to 17 knots and we will see those start to increase as we go through the morning hours. Otherwise, temperature around 44 degrees with relative humidity at 89%. Looking at the current local radar, we can see uh, just a shield of rain over all of the local area at the moment, and that will be the case as we go throughout most of the day today. Maybe a few breaks in the rain during the afternoon, but mainly staying either light to moderate rain through the area as we go throughout the day today. We zoom out, take a look at the visible satellite as well as the composite radar over the region. Uh, don't be fooled by this gap in the radar coverage here. That's just some missing data. There is, It is raining in the um, southern Virginia area. But uh, otherwise, as you can see, plenty of rain showers that will continue to move into the area as that low pressure tracks to the northeast. And we have some breezy conditions uh, over the region as well with winds out of the east out ahead of that low pressure system and as well plenty of cloud material. If take a look at the short term high resolution model see how things play out as we go through the day today. Again expecting the rain to continue we'll see uh, rain becoming more moderate as we go through the morning hours possibly seeing a few pockets of some heavier rain as we go through the late morning and early part of the afternoon. As we get to the mid-afternoon could see a few breaks uh, in the rain but not no breaks in the clouds but just a few Breaks in the rain, uh, still remaining light, and then had some more moderate, possibly maybe even a heavy rain shower in between uh, the light rain as we go through the afternoon hours. And we'll see this low pressure start to track closer to the area that will increase the winds as we go through the day today, as well as destabilize things a bit as we get to the later part of the afternoon. So that brings us a slight chance of possibly seeing a few rumbles of thunder and lightning embedded within some of these rain showers as they push through for the late afternoon and particularly into the in evening hours as this low pressure becomes uh, pretty well centered over the local area and we'll see those moderate rain showers continue until we get to about midnight tonight when we start to see this push off the coast and to the northeast and we'll see things dry out while remaining mostly cloudy until we get to the late morning hours where we'll see some of those clouds finally start to break up and some sunshine coming through but otherwise remaining dry as we go into Friday as well as will remain a, a bit breezy for our Friday as well and then we'll see the winds slowly start to taper down as we go into the evening hours for some lighter winds during the evening hours Friday night and into Saturday morning and then we'll see just slightly breezy conditions for our Saturday but uh, expecting that to be uh, below that 25 knot threshold as we go on a Saturday. But overall, things remaining dry after we get through this active weather uh, today and into this evening. So if we sum things up, looking at the 24-hour weather risk chart today, starting off around 44, we'll expect temperatures to continue to climb as we go through the day and into the evening hours, expecting our high just around or before midnight of 56 as we go through the day and then going into the overnight hours we'll see things cool down just a bit as the shower activity moves out and the winds shift out of the west 
down to around 43 for our low Friday morning. Expecting a windy day today as we'll see those winds continue to pick up as we go through today. Out of the east-southeast at 10 to 15 knots with some gusts up to 25 knots by the beginning of the afternoon. And we could see uh, gusts up to 33 to 35 knots as we get into the late afternoon and evening hours. And we'll see the sustained winds pick up as well out of the east-southeast to southeast around 15 to 20 knots uh, going through the evening hours. And then we'll see those winds back off just a bit as we go into the morning hours for Friday, but remaining breezy with a westerly wind 12 to 17 knots with some gusts up to 23 to 25 knots for the morning hours Friday. <clears throat> we do see rain out there right now. And again, as we go throughout the day, expecting that rain to, to continue, uh, becoming moderate, maybe a few pockets of some heavier rain at times. And as we get into the late afternoon, we'll start off with about a 10% chance of seeing some embedded thunderstorms, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we'll get into the late afternoon and evening hours uh, with that low pressure tracking through the area, we'll bump it up to about a 30% chance of seeing some embedded thunderstorms for that activity as it moves through. But again, most of this all wraps up by the midnight hour, and we'll see things start to dry out, remaining cloudy, and then start to see some breaks in the clouds by uh, sunrise on Friday. So we are red for precip as we go throughout the day today up until midnight, and then we see things back to green for Friday morning. We'll have that lightning chance. We have that yellow chance as we get past the 1600 local time frame up until the midnight time frame. And then we are orange for winds for the morning hours this morning. Uh, so a good chance of seeing a wind advisory this morning. If we don't see it this morning, we'll likely see it as we get into the afternoon hours when we become red for those winds at our above 25 knots. And then that drops back down to orange after midnight, still remaining breezy uh, through the morning hours for Friday. And then we also have that orange risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities with the shower activity and the lower clouds in the area continuing till about, till about midnight. And then we'll see a drop down to a yellow risk and then back to green as we start the day on Friday. Tides are running about a a foot to a foot and a half above normal at the moment. If we look at the next couple of days, expecting things to dry out and be dry for the next few days. So for Friday, starting off partly cloudy, uh, we'll have seasonable temperatures with a high around 51. And we'll see those clouds decreasing through the day and the winds will start to diminish later in the day and into the evening. But we are orange for that risk of seeing winds at or above 25 knots. So we'll have some breezy conditions for Friday. Those winds will taper down as we go into Friday evening, partly cloudy to mostly clear for the evening. That'll allow things to cool down quite a bit to a low around 34, so about seasonal for this time of year, but green across the board for weather risk. And as we go into Saturday, expecting a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day, we will remain slightly breezy, but expecting those winds to stay uh, below that 25 knot threshold. So not expecting a wind advisory for our Saturday at this time. Otherwise, a high around 49 is expected for Saturday, so a little bit cooler, a couple degrees cooler than the average temperature for this time of year. Well, that will wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. to take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your day.